Question, do you know what the heck OBS means? Back in 30. Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. With me, I have a very special guest all the way from South Africa. I am so highly honored to introduce to you Violet Henning. Hey, Violet, how are you doing today? Hey, Jan, I'm very well, thanks, and yourself? Oh, good, good, good. But I want to mention to you what Violet actually does. She is a photographer and a filming person very far from what I do. However, I have been noticing that I enjoy taking pictures or photographs from my regular Android phone. I'm gonna zoom in on you in a second, Violet, get your picture up and get you a little closer because I do have questions about that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Here you go, Violet. Violet, here's a question for you. I like to take pictures from my regular Android phone, simple, simple. Do you think that that's a silly hobby or something that can lead to something else? You know, the thing I tell people all the time, the best camera on the market is the one in your hand for now. So don't ever go and buy expensive gear just for the sake of having it or because you're so caught up in your own mind uh, that you trap yourself into thinking that you need more expensive gear. If you can't make something with what you have in your hand right now, you won't make it with a $10,000 camera. Wow. I have to share with you a little bit of a story, and this might be interesting for anyone viewing. One day, a friend of mine wanted to go into a liquor store. I personally do not drink. I just don't. It's just not my thing. But I won't put down someone that has an occasional, just for the heck of it type thing, once in a great while. So all of a sudden I took out my camera, this was a few years ago, and I took a picture of the bottles lined up, the way they were positioned in the window on the display, it had sort of like an Andy Warhol feel to me. I, I just fell in love with that. And I love taking pictures of things that are in groups. Is that crazy? <laughs> No, it's not at all. And, um, you know, what you've done there is actually uh, framing is the most important part of uh, of camera work. If, you, if you're going to be a photographer, if you're going to be a filmmaker, framing is the most important part. So if you see something in a group, already it triggers that sense in your mind to frame it so that you don't see what else is going on alongside it. So you basically make uh, you take chaos and you make it beautiful you frame it beautifully so yeah that's, a, that's actually a very good trait and a, a lot that's of people cool. battle with that yeah that a lot is, of people battle with that yes that is so cool and you know what it is Violet? Mm -hmm. you know i run as you i'm sure you're familiar you've seen my stuff basically a budget channel a frugality channel and a lot of people yeah. complain well what's a good inexpensive hobby to start utilize the very item you're working with that you're viewing my channel on perhaps and have fun taking all the pictures you want for free and just getting a sense of excitement and a feeling. Cause I will never forget that moment in time when I looked at the result and was like, I really, really like this. Mm. And yeah, no, I absolutely. Yes. Yes. The pilot, you were going to say, I'm sorry. I'm absolutely agreeing with you because, um, you know, I take a lot of photographs on my phone and videos on my phone. Uh, they never make it to YouTube because I believe in my heart that I suck at videography on my phone and photos. Uh, I love my DSLR cameras, but, you know, most of the memories that I have are straight on my phone. I mean, I just take photos and videos for fun, um, not for commercial purposes. I don't get paid for it. It's not my ad, the, the work that I do for commercials. It's just for me as memories. And those are the most precious ones. So never, ever stop using your phone to take photos and videos. 
thank you. You know what, Violet? Of course, I looked through your videos because I have enjoyed your channel for about, have you been on about two years or just close to two years? Yeah. Okay. Yes. And if I'm not uh, mistaken, I, yes? Uh, it's about uh, 20, 20, 2019 is when my channel started. So, yeah, it's about two years. Oh, awesome. And I notice you're getting very close to hitting your 1,000 subs. Now, for those who are interested in photography, specifically YouTube content creators, you have a specific video that I'm going to link up in my description box below for people that have, you know, have started YouTube channels and they're starting their basic photography type thing. And if you'd be so kind to give some pointers regarding anyone brand new regarding this, I would really appreciate that for the folks. Yeah, no, for, for sure. Um, the first thing I will say to any person out there, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you're already five steps behind. You should have done it yesterday. So <laughs> anything in life, <laughs> anything in life that you think about doing, uh, you're about five steps behind. You should have done it already. And that's unfortunately how we are as humans. We overthink stuff. Um to the point that we never start something. So just, you know, if you don't know how to do YouTube, just go and start making videos. You don't have to post them now. Make the videos and watch them six, seven times over and see what you can improve on that before you post them. But start right now. Violet, that is stunning advice. And the reason I say that I'm one of those people that it happened to because way back in 2017, I started my channel in 2018, July 22nd. Yeah. And for one year, I wasted a year in analysis paralysis. Till Steve yeah. Young, who I'm sure you're familiar with Steve, you know, because he's yes. visible on my channel a lot. He literally, I call it this, pushed me out the helicopter window. And he said, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best advice anyone. Percent. Yeah, it's what the best about, advice anyone can give you. Yes, but what about like from like a camera point of view? I mean, do you need the best equipment? Is it an equipment issue? What are the most important elements? Absolutely not. If you have a window in your house and you have a soft curtain, like a white see-through, what do you call those side curtains? I didn't know what they call them. Draperies? Uh, Something like that, yes, but something that lets light in, uh, yeah. but it softens the light. You know, you can even oh, use a yeah, yeah, yeah. Panel, you can even use a panel, yeah, or you can use a bed sheet or something that's white and just hang it in front of your window. If you have that light hitting your face and you got your phone over here, you're good to go. You can do YouTube. I have to say, recently I saw a video specifically on your channel, I think you might have recorded it about a year back. I could be wrong, but it's about getting, what do you call that little box light? It's sort of like a little flash, oh. that square one. What do you call that one? Yeah, uh, I have it here somewhere. You pointed out all the correct directions what to do. Yeah, um, and even when you, when you uh, record yourself in sunlight so that you don't get raccoon eyes and stuff like that, just turn your back to the sun and it's you talking about this little one. Yeah. What is that called? Yeah. It's called a, a Lytra Lytra torch. There we go. Lytra torch. Thank you. I don't know if it's Thank in focus. You. And yes. it's affordable, right? Yeah, it's portable and it's pretty strong as well. Wow. Ah. So yeah, if I if I was to <laughs> if I was to put it on on dim, that that's dim then a bit brighter, and then what a bit brighter. Difference? So you would obviously, you can't believe how much light this little thing. I uh, can't believe it. I was so impressed also on that video about how just changing the direction, even from, you like mentioned, like a, like a flashlight type of device, if you don't yeah. have that, but just changing like the direction, like to point it maybe under your chin looks almost like frightening, if I'm not mistaken, like a, a horror <laughs> movie, and putting Absolutely. it up. Oh my gosh, yeah. what a difference. You got to see yeah. that video, everyone. If you're a video content creator, I don't care what platform you're on, watch this. I'm going to hook it up in the description box below. 
Thank you so much yeah, for so, that video. Really? Yeah, light, light you don't need to go and buy. You can use a normal, any normal light that you have in your house, like yeah. a bed, uh, bedside lamp or something. Yes. It's just the position where you put it that's going to give you a certain look. So from the side, you get one dark side and one light side, and you bring it to the front and you completely lit. And the same thing, take it to the other side, you get a dark side and a light side. I've got a whole bunch of lights here now. But, you know, like where you put it makes the difference. And <laughs> oh, that's all you need is to try that on me. <laughs> I'd be very petrified <laughs> trying it like that direction on me. You know something, Violet, you bring up a good point. Behind me is a white wall. Behind me is yeah. a white shelf. I do yeah. not have expensive lighting here. I do have a yeah. tiny ring light, tiny. You know, like those $20 yeah. ones. That's what's in my budget. <laughs> I'm not oh, using perfect. it at the moment. This is natural light. Natural yeah. light. Imagine coming in, natural light, and a white wall. Does having a white wall seem to help as well? Yes, anything that's white reflects. So if you have, uh, even if you put a white piece of cardboard behind your computer, the, the window light will reflect in the white piece of cardboard, and it oh. will look like you have a huge, big, light like this oh my god and you, yeah I never thought of that so it's like a reflector exactly like a reflector my gosh you see what you get for watching this channel and violet henning's channel i'm just <laughs> saying just saying you know but Violet, yeah. what year i mean not what year because you mentioned it earlier 2019 what exactly i'm sure your channel has a specific mission what is some of your mission with your channel anyway from the get-go, my biggest point was to help people and make friends. And boy, have I done that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I could have only 30 subscribers, basically, because there's only about 30 people watching my videos. But we're all like this. That's so, right. you know, to me, you know, having 10,000 subscribers doesn't mean much. What means much is the value that I got from this channel. I've yeah. started just doing, you know... Um, product reviews like these and the cameras and the microphones. And then I went into tutorials on to how to work in, um, you know, uh, uh, Premiere Pro, Adobe and stuff like that. And then I jumped over to OBS because of the Streamlabs thing, actually. I jumped Which over to OBS. Which we never answered the question that I opened with. What is OBS? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. Go I need water. Where's my water? <laughs> So it's very simple, actually. OBS is an open broadcast system. And what it does is it's a studio, actually, like uh, like Streamlabs, for instance. It's a studio. so But it's, it's a virtual studio. So in OBS, you can do all sorts of funny things to your camera, to your microphone, to all of that. And it's free, completely free. There's no overhead charges. There's no monthly fees, nothing like that. You just we have like to use your number. imagination. We like yeah. that. Yeah. Reality channels. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And and especially if you're going to start doing YouTube on a budget and you want to have something good to record on. So you have only your webcam, which means that you don't have a DSLR camera that's got bunches of um, memory cards and stuff that you can record on. So what you're going to use is put your webcam uh, connected to your camera Go into OBS, record it on your computer's hard drive, and then just when you're done with your video, just post it. Is that I know I have seen tutorials. I've seen tutorials about let me get you us both back. I have seen tutorials about being able to take this, by the way, which is what 99% of my channel used to come from, the simple phone. Yeah. All of my audios, you know. My audios come from here with sound effects, everything, yeah. all that. But I understand that that can be turned into a webcam for free if you go to certain sites and use it in yeah. conjunction with your laptop or whatever. Is that correct? Correct. And it's any site. It's not certain sites. Basically, every site, um, Skype, um, YouTube, uh, Streamlabs, all of them allows that. In fact, right now I'm using my DSLR camera, um, is which is which is not so budgety, but it's a DSLR camera. It's not a webcam, which in OBS I've set it to be a virtual camera, 
And then when I log into Streamlabs, I tell it to use my virtual camera instead of my webcam. And that's how you see this. So wow. nice. I, I love your setup. You were so kind, you know, in the green room. We have a green room here, even without a green background, yeah. just saying, just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thank you kindly for showing me a little area because I actually asked Violet if that was, you know, a green screen, meaning like a, like a picture behind her. But no, it's not a picture. It's the real thing. <laughs> yep. It's, Violet, it's my actual setup. Wonderful. I forgot to ask in the briefing notes, and I feel badly to bring this up, but I am curious. You do, you are, are you paid for creating commercial ads for some people? Is that correct? Yes, I, that is correct. Um, I saw a car a, one, a car one, if I'm not mistaken. It was yeah, gorgeous. Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> it, that was probably the most dangerous and the most fun uh, commercial we've made ever because I was, uh, Nadine was driving the, our little uh, Bantam truck. Yeah. So we've got a mini mini pickup thing. Yeah. Uh, we call it a in South Africa we call it a bucky. Oh. A buck a bucky. <laughs> yes. So now you can say mini pickup in Afrikaans a bucky. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> so what we've done is Nadine was driving the bucky and I was laying uh on the on the back of it, you know, on the pickup side of it. And um we would have the the Ford Mustang come up to us and the dean would drive in in tandem with the with the Ford Mustang and I'd be hanging out of this bucky with my camera about this far from the floor or from the tar road filming this Ford Mustang and then I would with one hand hold the camera and show her go past go past so she can go past the driver in the Mustang. So it was most fun video we've done, but it was the and most dangerous. And that has to also be included in my description box below. You guys have to check it out because <laughs> I personally watched that a few times. I said, am I understanding this right? That Violet, my sweet Violet that I talked to doing this per like highly professional stuff for a huge company. I am beyond proud of your work. <laughs> Thank you very much. We do also for the bag guy. Um, he makes all sorts of um, cooler bags and stuff that keeps your food cold and uh, medical bags and stuff like that. And my one friend, Karen Luke from uh, Wales, she actually does the voiceovers for us on those commercials. That's fantastic. I really, yeah. I, I respect that. I, I just do. There was another video that I don't know, I, it impressed me so. Remember the drone one going into a tree? <laughs> oh, yeah, I crashed it a couple Anybody of times. Anybody out there like, like to watch drone videos? Well, that's another one I need to add to my description box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that video was a lot of fun. I actually crashed the drone a couple of times before I actually got it through the tree, and Nadine wasn't too happy with me because, you know, those blades aren't so cheap. But, um, well, oh, I, got it, I got it through the tree. <laughs> and even obtaining a job, I mean, I'm assuming uh, even in South Africa, you probably have to have certain licensing. And I know here there's yeah. restrictions and stuff like that, you know? Yes. Yeah, we have restrictions here. Yeah. Mostly the licensing is for commercial use. So if uh -huh. I was to shoot... If I was to shoot the Ford Mustang with the drone, I would have needed a license. But we left the drone that day. We just worked with uh, all the DSLRs and the the balancing gimbals and stuff like yes. that. Oh, nice, lovely. Another thing I was looking for that I remembered, but I couldn't find it, was the time that you assisted in producing a music video for someone. Oh, about yes. Um, yeah, that video is still actually on my channel. Um, you were kind enough to send it to my, uh, to my messenger or email and I'll send it to the folks tonight. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'm putting this in the afternoon New York time so that it can air at 9 o'clock New York time. I'm sorry you'll probably be sleeping when it first comes on. Sorry, Violet. <laughs> I'll be fast asleep by then. It's just you six hours behind me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Awesome. Wow, you're awesome. Thank you so much, Thank Violet. You. Anything you'd like to add to the folks, you know, encouraging photography or filmography? Well, 
just that you should start shooting. It doesn't matter what you start shooting. You know, if you're into baking for, uh, you, you're making a YouTube channel and you're into baking, every single step that you take, take, get a little, I had a little, um, I don't have it in here now. I think Nadine uses it for the night vision uh, camera. Uh -huh. So uh, get get a little tripod. You get a little tripod with a thingamajig like this. Uh, okay. That goes on top of the tripod and it holds your phone. You mean like this? So you like just I have. <laughs> yeah, like what you have. So you just, you know, hook this thing over your phone and you and you just mount it to a little tripod. And then what you can do is just hit record. Uh, and now you are pouring, you know, your your flour into the, the bowl, and right. you stop recording. Yeah, and now you break the eggs. You start recording, break the eggs, and all that. <laughs> And there's a video, there's a video on my channel. Uh, people might be interested in going to see that video. It's um, the one that I used, the little GoPro Hero. It's a tiny little yes. camera. It's about as big as this little light. Oh. Um, and you won't believe the quality of the video when I was making a, a B-roll section of uh -huh. Nadine baking pancakes. And she made the pancakes and I was just doing the filming. And if you have a baking channel or any food channel or any frugal channel that you are repurposing stuff, show yeah. us how you do that. So just record every step with your phone. That's all you need. Would you be kind enough to send that one to my uh, to my area so I could send it to the poster? <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely do it because that's so simple. All you need to do, take a shot, stop, take a shot, stop. And you don't need to, you know, um, put some nice uh, – transitions in between you don't you can just cut from one clip to the other and people get the message because your brain sort of processes the whole thing what you're doing there as soon as you break the eggs in they know what you're going to make i love this i love this analogy you're breaking it up into <laughs> what it really is for what it's worth it is like a recipe Absolutely. from scratch yeah. yeah thank you so much violet i want to thank you so much for stopping by Take your time so out from your busy schedule. I really appreciate you. And You're folks, really, thank really you welcome. so much for watching. And don't ah. forget to check out everything in the description box. You have anything else to add? <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank you very much. I just All right, so you're good to go. Now, Violet, don't leave the broadcast studio, okay? So I'm going to put on you. my chow chow, and then, but you <laughs> stick around. All right. I thank will. you, everybody. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How are you doing? I, I'm still trying to cut it off. <laughs>